My name is Nadia Ahmad. Um, I'm an obesity medicine physician, and uh, I'm also the senior medical director at Eli Lilly and Company, um, and uh, I lead the surmount trials investigating trisepatide for the treatment of obesity. So uh, we're here at the ADA um, because we have uh, just completed our uh, primary phase of the surmount one study and uh, disclosed those data and um, at the ADA um, uh, for the first time. Uh, and uh, it was great to be in person. This is the first ADA conference after a couple of years that was live. And so uh, we were here to share those results with the medical community. So trisepatide is a single molecule, um, but has actions at two receptors, the GLP-1 receptor and the GIP receptor. And both of these molecules, GIP and GLP-1, are known to be incretins, uh, and they have effects beyond their incretin effect, though. So the incretin effect, as I think many providers and physicians know at this point, is uh, the effect on the pancreas to um, stimulate nutrient-mediated uh, insulin secretion, right? But beyond the pancreas, they have effects on the brain that work on energy balance and energy regulation. So GIP with GLP-1 is known to decrease food intake, and there's also data to suggest that GIP increases energy expenditure. So the combined effect of trisepatide um, as a dual agonist for both GIP and GLP-1 is to work on both sides of the energy balance equation to reduce body weight um, and also have uh, important uh, metabolic uh, effects in addition to that. 